Statistics just released from the ATF show a marked increase in the number of firearms it's tracing after they're recovered from crimes. As David Winter reports, the stats all tell a story. The number of guns recovered from crimes, like last night's Interstate 75 shooting, is increasing at interstate speed. Over the past six years, the numbers have exploded, especially locally. In Ohio in 2014, 10,333 firearms were recovered and traced. In 2020, that number had increased 62 percent. In Kentucky, the increase over the past six years is 53 percent. In Indiana, like Ohio, 62 percent. Also interesting is how the types of firearms used in crimes have changed. In Ohio, semi-automatic pistols made up 60 percent of the firearms recovered. In 2020, that number jumped to nearly 80 percent. Firearms recovered from juveniles and reported to the ATF have increased markedly as well, from 360 in Ohio in 2014 to 519 in 2020. And when it comes to where firearms are used in crimes compared to where they are originally sold, Ohio ranks among the worst. Because firearms are readily for sale in Ohio, there's no waiting periods, there's no permit requirements that maybe some other states have. The Giffords Law Center grades states for having strict gun laws. New York, Massachusetts, and New Jersey have some of the most restrictive gun laws, and a low percentage of crimes in those states are committed with firearms purchased in those states. Now look at Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Less restrictive gun laws, a large percentage of crimes committed with guns purchased close to home. What conclusions do you draw? Last year, you saw a very large spike in violent crime, and we saw a lot of cities not prosecuting to the extent that they should have. So, you know, you can pass laws, and that doesn't necessarily directly affect crime if you're not uh, enforcing those laws. David Winter, Local 12 News. The ATF stats also show that the length of time has shortened substantially from the date a firearm is sold to when it's used in a crime. It attributes this to aggressive police work and better tracing technology.